Hello everybody, thank you for coming to another story time this week. This week's story is a super fun book. It has a rhyme and kind of a beat to it. So it also has some words that are really hard to pronounce. So we'll see how I do with the rhythm of the book. But it's going to be all about dinosaurs and an animal that came from dinosaurs. Any guesses what animal that's still alive on the planet today that came from the dinosaurs? Hmm. I don't want to tell you more than that and give away the book, but we'll talk about it after the story is over. So today's book is called Dinosaur Feathers. There's a hint for you. And it was written by Dennis Nolan. I bet some of you probably have a favorite type of dinosaur that you really like. Maybe it will be in this book. Dinosaur Feathers. The dinosaurs lived by the shores of Mesozoic seas, and in the shade their eggs were laid among the ginkgo trees. They ate the plants, the worms, and ants. They ate each other too. With mighty roars, the dinosaurs just grew and grew and grew. They roamed the land and in the sand, they left behind their tracks. A patasaurus, stegosaurus, saurophaganax, ceratosaurus, allosaurus, archaeopteryx, Mementosaurus, Kentrosaurus, and Cadipteryx. Uranosaurus, Gobisaurus, Hypsilophodon, Amargosaurus, Quantosaurus, and Iguanodon. Cetacosaurus, Spinosaurus, just to name a few. Velociraptor, Oviraptor, Myasaurus, too. Aeneasaurus, Scripasaurus, Pentaceratops, Ankylosaurus, Rogosaurus, Proctoceratops, Styracosaurus, Saltosaurus, Edmontonia, Tyrannosaurus, Carnotaurus, Borogovia. With monstrous jaws and fearsome claws, they ruled the earth alone. Then no one knows why they had to die. Their bones were turned to stone. So scientists think a big meteor hit the earth and the after effects of that meteor wiped out most of the dinosaurs. Hmm, what do you think? Who is left? Except a few whose feathers grew and grew and grew and grew. Flamingos, owls, guinea fowls, and the marabou. They ate the bugs, the seeds, and slugs. They nested in the trees. The parakeets, the lorikeets, the wrens, and chickadees. And all day long they sang their song. They whistled, cawed, and cooed. They chirped and cheeped. They honked and peeped. They cock a doodle dood. The ducks and hawks and gulls and ox, the swan and hummingbird, macaws and quails, cranes and rails, and the bowerbird. The frigate bird, the lyre bird, the loon and cockatoo, with squawks and cries, they filled the skies and flew and flew and flew. So then it has on this page a bunch of information about different types of dinosaurs and it tells you the name of the dinosaur, how to pronounce it, which is really helpful when reading this book, what that name, what its Latin name means in English. So for example, oh man, Pelicanimimus, Pelicanimimus, um, it is named for being a pelican mimic. That's what its name means. So it looks like a pelican. And it tells you how big it is, six feet, and where it lived, Europe, 
from 135 to 125 million years ago, right? So it has tons of different dinosaurs and even some birds in here. And as we go further into the timeline, we see more and more birds appearing because birds are related to dinosaurs. They evolved from dinosaurs. But I did want to show you this page, which helps explain how we got to birds from dinosaurs. And I'm just going to read this paragraph down here. It says, dinosaurs first appeared around 228 million years ago, sharing a common ancestor with the flying pterosaurs. As the dominant land animal, the dinosaurs spread to every continent on Earth and grew into an astonishing number of shapes and sizes. Birds appeared around 100 million years ago as one of the feathered dinosaurs in the theropod group that included the mighty Tyrannosaurus and the swift Velociraptor, the beaked Oviraptor, and the flying Archaeopteryx. So we can see on this tree of life that we have these dinosaurs evolving, right? These are different branches or groups of dinosaurs that evolved and the very last one this velociraptor family and tyrannosaurus those branched off and our birds evolved from those dinosaurs and if you've ever seen like a great blue heron or a turkey vulture or a stork the marabou storks they talk about in this book i feel like some of those birds look just like dinosaurs and you can totally see how they're related so it says, feathers are modified reptilian scales that allow the birds to take to the skies. The last dinosaur became extinct around 66 million years ago, except for a number of toothless, beaked, and feathered birds in ancient South America. Today, around 10,000 species of birds inhabit the world, ranging in size from the giant ostrich to the tiny hummingbird, with a population of around 400 billion. They adorn the earth with the beauty of their colors and patterns and fill the air with their songs. So just like hundreds of millions of years ago when the dinosaurs took over the earth, they lived on every continent and were spread all over. They came in all different shapes and sizes and colors. And now our birds are doing the same thing, right? So they come from the dinosaurs. So that is pretty cool. We will put a link to some activities and resources for you down below. And I will see you again soon for another story time. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. A patastorus. <laughs> oh, here we go. Petrosaurus. And cadip... Cadipterus. And cadipterix. Okay. Gobisaurus. Hips. Hypsilophodon. Oranus. <laughs> An Ankylosaurus. Oh, just... Mementosaurus. <laughs> this is the worst idea I've ever had. Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, Archaeopteryx, Mementosaurus, Kentrosaurus, and Cotopteryx. Cotopteryx. You're missing a syllable. <laughs>